My first impression about the Lithuanian ISM is uh, really uh, here is a very beautiful city. It's quite different from the Japan's, but uh, I really love this atmosphere. And also the ISM, so we have, I surprised so such a nice facilities and uh, relaxed feelings that will be very nice for learning about uh, management type of the activities. Thinking about uh, innovative leadership, so I would say that it is very compulsory and it's getting much more popular by popular. But if we define the, what is a le innovative leadership, I would say the leadership to commit for changing, because the changing is one of the hardest approaches for in terms of the people and the organizations. Uh, every people will try to change things, but there's a few people who successfully change things. And how to get in the changing command or changing attitude in the leader's positions, it is very crucial. And uh, thinking about the day, the recently business situations, uh, day by day, the, everything is changing. The how to adapt to this kind of the changing environment, the leader has to change very quickly, firstly, then the organization has to be Follows. So this is a typical uh, format and thinking about this format, the, or if the leader couldn't get the attitude to change or attitude not for having some new curiosity or possibilities or thinking about what's coming to next or how we should create something new for the next generation. So this is a very important attitude and way of thinking. And uh, also in you know, Japan, so currently, uh, if we develop the leaders, so we always encourage to uh, having some attitude for changing. Because one of the Japanese tendencies for the business person is uh, sometimes they are really hesitated about the changing. But if the leader gets in some this sense, so it starts works. Yes, so this is a basic idea about uh, what is the innovative leadership and uh, how to adapt for the current environment of the business scenes.